In the next few videos, we're going to cover the um, final topic in Edexcel Additional Chemistry, which is called Quantitative Chemistry, or um, basically a bit of maths. So in this first video, we're going to cover formula mass. Now, there's two things we need to uh, be able to do with formula mass. The first, we need to be able to calculate the relative formula mass. And the second thing we need to do is to be able to calculate percentage by mass for an element in the compound. So we're going to look at a couple of examples of each. Calculating the relative formula mass is relatively straightforward. Um, all we need to do is work out the total mass of the atoms in a, in a particular compound. So first example, sodium chloride, NaCl. What we need to do is work out the atomic mass for the atoms in here and add them together. So first um, atom we've got is sodium. Sodium has a relative atomic mass, okay, or the top number is 23. And we need to add that to the mass of an atom of chlorine, which is 35.5, or the relative um, atomic mass of chlorine. And then you simply need to work this out on your calculators, and this one is going to give us an answer of 58.5. And that is our relative atomic mass for NaCl sodium chloride. The second example is a little bit trickier. This is going to be calcium hydroxide or CaOH2. Now, in this one is a little bit harder because we need to um, be able to handle um, what's in this bracket and um, work that out correctly. Our first step is exactly the same. We're going to find the atomic mass of calcium. Again, the uh, relative atomic mass, the large number, is the top number here. So calcium that is 40. Because this OH is in brackets and we've got two of them, we need to do two times the mass of what is in this brackets. So the way I would write this out is just to do two times and then work out the mass of what's in this brackets. Oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16. Hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1. So I'm going to do two times 16 plus 1. So that's going to be 40 plus 2 times 17 is 34. So calcium hydroxide is going to have a relative atomic mass of 74. Okay, percentage by mass um, uses um, these relative formula masses that we've calculated and what we need to do is work out the percentage that a particular element contributes to that overall mass. So first example is going to be H2O and we want the percentage by mass of oxygen in H2O. Our first step is just like before to work out the relative atomic mass. So the relative atomic mass of H2O, again, oxygen is an um, atomic mass of 16. Hydrogen has an atomic mass of 1. Because we've got two hydrogens in here, our relative atomic mass is going to be 2 times 1. So 1 is the relative atomic mass of hydrogen. We've got two of them. Plus 16, it gives us a relative atomic mass. Sorry, relative formula mass, sorry, that should say. So the relative formula mass of H2O is going to be 16 plus 2 is 18. Now, we want the percentage... Um, by mass of oxygen in this compound. So we want to know the percentage that oxygen contributes to this. So what we need to do is this. So the percentage by mass of oxygen, we need to take the um, total mass that oxygen contributes to this overall mass, which in this case is just 16. To work out the percentage, we're going to divide that by the total formula mass, or the relative formula mass of H2O. That gives us our answer as a fraction. To get it as a percentage, we simply times by 100. So if we do this on our calculators, 16 divided by 18 times 100, we get 88.88%. We're going to round that to 
88.9%. So that is the percentage that oxygen contributes to the mass of H2O. Final example we're going to look at in this video is a little bit trickier. And we're going to look um, at and see if we can work out the percentage by mass of oxygen again, this time in H2SO4 or sulfuric acid. So we're going to start off um, exactly the same as, again, we want to work out the relative formula mass first. So we're going to do that exactly how we've done before. First off, we need to get hydrogen, which is still one. We've got two of them, so we're going to do two times one from our hydrogens plus the relative atomic mass of sulfur, which is 32, plus the total contribution from oxygen, the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. We've got four of them, so we're going to do four times 16. So that's going to be two plus 32 plus four times 16 is 64. So the total relative formula mass of H2SO4 is 96 plus 2 is 98. Right, our last step now is we need to work out the percentage that oxygen atoms contribute to this. So the percentage of oxygen. Again, we need to um, use the total mass that oxygen contributes, which is 64. Okay, so bear in mind you have got four oxygen atoms, you must include all four of them. The total mass of that, um, total relative formula mass is of H2S4 is 98. So 64 divided by 98, to get it as a percentage, we times by 100. This is going to give us a final answer of 64 divided by 98 times 100, 65.3%. So that is our percentage by mass of oxygen in H2SO4.